Filmmaking technology has advanced over time. Cameras have become smaller, edits have become simpler on computers, but our distribution models are still very archaic and old. But there's one man who's trying to change it. Sandeep Mohan is a Bombay-based independent filmmaker who I came across during the production of my film The Other Way. His debut film Love Wrinkle Free opened to limited audiences through the PVR director's rare initiative. This time along, I met him at Chai Party in Bangalore where he was screening his second film Ola Venki. I mean, I didn't take censor for Ola Venki. Okay. Uh, I didn't want to take censor for Ola Venki. And that's why I made a small budget film, 10 lakh, short by 3 million. Uh, so I thought, uh, if you can't take censor in India, you can't release in theatres, naturally, as you know. No, no, can you sell your DVD? Mm -hmm. No, can you sell your DTH rights? Nothing. So, what's the option, right? So, I heard about uh, traveling cinema in the villages earlier, like you must have heard about it. But in urban, uh, in cities, you haven't heard about these kind of a concepts. So and my audience is always urban uh, niche kind of audience, mm -hmm. the corporate, the guys who speak a mix of languages, English, Hindi, Tamil, Malayalam, whatever. That's my audience always. And issues also what I target are like this. So I thought, why don't I reach out to them in, 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 in environments for which they are comfortable with, like in cafes, bars, uh, maybe offices, homes, you know, instead of asking them to come to a small theater somewhere in a far off uh, remote place, why don't I just, you know, go to this place? So that was the whole idea. An independent filmmaker doesn't have to stop innovation at the writing stage or direction stage. I feel unless we take charge of our life, uh, those big guys with more money naturally are going to kill us. So I don't want to get killed. I, I rather you know, want to travel with the movie. I love traveling and show it. You know. Love Wrinkle Free was given an adult certification because of which uh, I couldn't get the satellite rights sold for the movie. And that's for a first time independent filmmaker. It's, it's a very difficult thing because if you don't sell satellite rights, you don't really make much money. Uh, we had a lot of people asking us for the rights, frankly, when the movie released, around that point. A lot of, honestly, it was a very positive thing for me. But then I realized that you can't sell the DTH rights, nothing, none of the rights. So that really hurt me. So I started going to censor board office in Bombay and started meeting these officials and appealed against it. But the kind of treatment you meted out to independent filmmaker, because I don't know the backing of big guys, it was very, literally I was asked to sit outside, treated like some shit, frankly, and they are big IRS officers and they ask me things like, I said, picture you make adult team next time, so much ke banana. How, what the fuck, I mean, in a sense, what rights do they have to tell me what to write? I don't make pornography, I, I mean, I don't make those kind of vulgar things. I mean, I'm not an infant, I'm an adult, I'm 39 years old. I mean, whatever I make, I have some responsibility, right? So I don't, fine, it has elements of sex and stuff, but you know, but that's like, what world are you living in? There is an element of frustration which made me make Ola Venki, you know. But now I've forgotten that reason. Of course, I don't want to just be an angry guy. I rather make, I'm a storyteller, so I use that anger to tell a story. And in fact, right now I'm thanking Sensor Board because, you know, because of their, uh, whatever they did to me, I made this Ola Venki. Otherwise, I wouldn't have explored this world, maybe, you know, of traveling with the movie. And you know, I would have made a typical one more, you know, second movie, approach to a based producer, you know, will tell me what to do. So, so I learned, I'm learning, you know, so thank you, Sensor Board. Venky. 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 How did the whole idea of the, the character being from the IT industry come in? Is it because of your friends or like, very yeah. directly from the film? Yeah, I think, uh, and also corporates. Uh, I, yeah. I, I was working in advertising for five, six years as a copywriter. Uh, I have a fascination with corporate guys because you know, I also was frustrated at 9 to 5, 9 to 10 jobs. Uh, but techies, yeah, a lot of my friends are from the techie world. Uh, they're software guys uh, based in the US, and uh, it's fun to watch them. But even in uh, Bombay, where I sit and work, Gloria Jeans uh, Cafe, so most of the guys who come down to work uh, sit and have a coffee. I keep overhearing what they talk. Like how people are talking. Mm -hmm. It's fun to catch hold. Like I like the pauses, the awkward pause between people and stuff like that. It's fun to hear. Like if you keep close your eyes and hear. So it, I thought, why don't I make a movie for these kind of guys? You know, about them, kind of about them, you know. And add my own touch to it. You know, in sense, and it's not just about one specific person. I mean, I'm a writer, so I, I, I fictionalize things and I try to add my own things to it. My idea of how. This could be like you know, it's not it's not necessarily a extremely real world. It's my version of a one world which I wanted to create. You know. 
Where do we see a proper techie story in uh, Bollywood? Thank you. Yeah, very unreal. And, yeah, if they are techie, they are always, you know, hackers. <laughs> you know? Playing video games. Well, playing video games and, you know, brainy. Or, you could be a techie just because your parents pushed you into, you know, stop your computer engineering, paid capitation fees, and you are, you know, it's difficult to fail. <laughs> You spent about 10 lakhs making the film. Yeah. Now you travelled with the film and all of that. So, is it paying you back? Like, yeah, I think it's very important that it should be self-sustaining. Yes. Uh, so self that's one thing we. Th I thought. I frankly want to do it like a mm, self-sustaining thing. Like in US release, we got us some money. Right. Uh, so forget that part of it. But in India, travelling bit of it. Uh, that's co getting covered by itself. So when I say pay as you wish, today of course it's different. Uh, different screenings are different kind of people coming in. Yeah, I know some of them are so, corporate. Yeah, so when the young people coming in, I don't push them because students and stuff. You know, I can't expect them to pump in a lot of money. But yeah. in Gurgaon and uh, Cochin yesterday, so some other middle-aged guys yeah. or builders and stuff, and they suddenly are touched. <laughs> some of them, they put in more money than what you can. Uh, Sometimes I got 10,000, sometimes. Wow. Yeah. So, day first day I got 10,000. Uh, yesterday I got 6,000. Uh, and I traveled in bus. 1,000 rupees I reached. Uh, whole night I was on the bus sleeping. Uh, I mean, I trying to sleep. Today morning I'm here in Bangalore. 4,000 rupees. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I'm here 4,000 rupees from, you know. So, so I spent 1,000. I got 9,000 saved. So, if I go to a multiplex, same movie, uh, 50, 50 rupees ticket, half goes to government. 50% tax, yeah. best half, whatever money the chain takes, the multiplex chain takes, you are left with some 30 40 rupees. But Literally, if in, even if 10 people come, you are getting that much money. Plus, you have to pay for the DCP cost, what not, what not. And, no, and plus, no one is aware about your food. We don't, we don't put advertising money. I thought this is much better. I thought about it. I thought, why? Nobody is going to go watch a one show thing, you know. This is very difficult. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Though it's a nice ego thing, and that ego thing got satisfied in US. Theatrically, we got released. Good, good. San Francisco, Blue Jasmine was playing next to my. I'm not joking, you know. This right. is a big kick for me. I'm standing up, took pictures there. It was right next to me, Blue Jasmine was playing. Uh, great Beauty. Uh, we booked it. Uh, it's on our own, but still, you know. People are coming in, 20 people are coming in watching it. So that, that whole so called kick up in a theater, I got it there. Okay. Here, no more kick. I don't want to get kicked out of the theater, you know. <laughs> We hope to do more of these videos as time permits. So we would really like it if you subscribe to our channel. The subscribe button is somewhere here, I think.